thinking about moving to Kansas City and you're thinking you want to be downtown. However, you're not really into the condo thing. You don't want to buy a condo and have all the HOA fees and all the tax assessments and your neighbor banging all the time. You want to kind of not be so close to people. Well, there's options if you want are in Kansas City. Um, there's single family home options, believe it or not, within the downtown Kansas City area. Today's video, I'm getting into some of the top neighborhoods within downtown that have single family home options. Today, um, the first place I'm in today is a neighborhood called Columbus Park. Um, it's a really cool neighborhood, super historic. And um, I'm gonna kind of walk the streets a little bit, show you what some of the homes look like, some of the area. Now I have actually done a vlog tour of downtown Kansas City, and I have walked through this neighborhood a little bit, but today I'm really getting more in depth specifically on single family homes that are available here in the downtown KC Metro area. So first let's talk about, um, you know, geographically where we're at, where is downtown Kansas City? So um, if you pull up a map of Kansas City, you have basically the river and downtown starts just south of the Missouri River. So that's going to be something that you're really going to familiarize yourself with and hear a lot about is just downtown Kansas City, uh, the Missouri River, how it separates the north, the south, and how it's kind of on the Missouri side. Um, and yeah, so north of the river, uh, a lot of suburbs, more of a suburban environment. South of the river, uh, more of an urban environment just south of the river here. And then it goes down to 31st Street. Uh, and then from 31st Street down to the plaza is Midtown. So today we're just kind of primarily talking about the downtown Kansas City area. Um, and there's some really cool stuff about this neighborhood, like behind me here, like a brand new construction building. It was a building that caught on fire and they completely rebuilt it. So that's what's kind of unique about Columbus Park is you have a lot of these historic older buildings. And then you have some tear down new construction here and there. And then you have a lot of these like former duplex type of homes that they've converted into single family homes. And then some that they've kept as duplexes as well, which to be honest with you, I think is a great opportunity for somebody who wants to potentially share a space, live in one side and um, rent out the other. Columbus Park has a lot of culture, a lot of history. And I think that's what draws a lot of people to this neighborhood. Um, you can see there's a giant cathedral behind me. It's just beautiful. Uh, the, the Holy Rosary Church. And then they have a credit union right next door. But, um, you know, this neighborhood was founded on uh, strong, rich Italian culture. And um, later on, really incorporated a lot of other cultures like Vietnamese and things like that. And then now, of course, today, there's a lot of different pieces of the Columbus Park neighborhood um, of all kinds of melting pot of people, which is really cool to live here with my family. Uh, we kind of regret moving, to be honest with you, but, you know, behind me here a block or so away is a park. We used to go to the park and play. Uh, and then you can walk to City Market from here, jump on the streetcar, and there's all kinds of cool stuff. Now, what I love about Columbus Park is the food. So within Columbus Park, there's some really awesome food. You have a uh, Happy Gillis, which is a really great breakfast spot. And then next to Happy Gillis is a really good ramen noodle place. And then right over here is uh, Vietnam Cafe, which is a really good place to eat. And then you have the famous, uh, world famous Garozo's Italian food down here. And then there used to be a little bar and grill called the North End. And now uh, it's called Wolfpack Barbecue. And then last but not least, Caddyshack Pizza. So man, there's <laughs> every place in Columbus Park uh, food wise is really, really good. Um, and you know me, I love some food. Uh, so love that. But you know, let's talk about more about this housing situation. Um, as you can see, like behind me, this is like a regular single family type house. And the, it's pretty quiet this morning. And for the most part, this neighborhood is pretty quiet, to be honest with you. Um, we do get a lot of trucks that come and go. You have Independence Avenue. Uh, so Columbus Park is just a little bitty neighborhood. It's kind of just on the, uh, it's just east of City Market on the other side of 
9 Highway, Heart of America Bridge, and then it goes to I-35 up here, and then it goes to Independence Avenue. So it's just from the river. So it's just kind of a tucked away, or about 5th Street is kind of where it starts. So from like 5th Street down to Independence Avenue, and then from the Heart of America Bridge over to I-35 is about the, brown, the boundaries within Columbus Park. So pretty tight little neighborhood. Um, and like I said, it's got a strong historic culture. Um, but yeah, I mean, uh, your home prices are gonna be all over the place in this neighborhood, depending on the size of home, the age of the home. Uh, for instance, like just a, like a duplex house down here is gonna be about 500,000. That's updated. Uh, if it needs updates, then it might be a little bit more affordable. Um, so just kind of kind of keep that in mind. And I'm also going to pull up the MLS. We're going to take a look at what's on the market. So to be honest with you, uh, not a whole lot of stuff uh, hits the market here in Columbus Park. And if it does, it goes pretty fast uh, just because it is a very popular neighborhood. Because a lot of people want to be downtown, close to downtown, but they want to have that neighborhood feel and still have a sense of safety and just all those things. And so you're really kind of, um, you know, so you're really kind of fitting into this area when you think about where you want to live uh, in downtown. So, but I'm also going to fly the drone up and kind of give you an overview of this neighborhood as well. So you can kind of get a good idea of kind of what all the size is and what it kind of looks like. Um, but I've had a lot of uh, people tell me when they get here that Columbus Park kind of reminds them of Brooklyn. Um, I think just because of the buildings, the way they are, the houses, they're kind of close together. They kind of have that tall uh, structure. It kind of has a really cool thing, vibe to it. But there's a lot of fun stuff, like they do a art, little art show, um, and they have they don't have an HOA here, but they definitely have a community of people that have been here forever that look out for each other and that kind of hold different events and activities for the community, which is pretty awesome. I just love the unique stuff about the neighborhood. Like this is a community garden. Uh, so residents can come in here, get a spot, do some community gardening, which is fun. And then they have like a little book box where you can you know basically leave a book take a book kind of on the honor system right there which is kind of cool you know I, I love I love little things like that that really make a neighborhood feel like a neighborhood uh, it's just really fun something else I forgot too is there's actually a new coffee shop down here and I believe there's a little convenience store there used to be a little barber I used to go to and get my hair cut he's not here anymore but uh, Garoza's is kind of right behind me here. So it's a really famous place. So like, I feel like a lot of celebrities go there. Like when you go into Garoza's, there's like pictures of all the all these celebrities with the owner. Um, it's a really cool environment. It's like, uh, it's just like dark and they play like, you know, Frank Sinatra and it's just kind of a really cool, cool deal. Um, but, you know, I just, like I said, I just really love Columbus Park. I'm featuring this neighborhood first. We're gonna kind of work our way kind of north to south. So this is definitely the north end, quote unquote, um, and what the locals call it. And it's really kind of the north end of the of the downtown scene. And so this is our first neighborhood. Um, another honorable mention neighborhood that I'm not gonna to feature today is uh, Pendleton Heights in the Northeast. So the Northeast is, in my opinion, not technically really tied into downtown. It's a little bit east of downtown. It's not as walkable. So all the all the neighborhoods I'm talking about today, you can literally walk to downtown, like from this neighborhood down Fifth Street here. You can get on the streetcar and go right and be right into City Market um, and right into the downtown area. So that's kind of what I'm talking about today. Uh, there's also a really cool skate park over here that my kids um, have have taken the kids to, which is really fun too. All right, so next we're gonna venture over to the west side of downtown Kansas City um, in a neighborhood known as the West Side. At least that's what the locals call it, but it's another really cool area, walkability and um, 
single family home options over there. So we're driving over to the west side and I wanted to kind of do a quick video because I wanted to kind of explain why we're not really hitting anything up in the middle of downtown is because it's pre predominantly big buildings, condo type living uh, within the middle part of downtown, kind of right down Main Street. And so from City Market, pretty much all the way down Main Street in the middle of Kansas City, downtown, you're gonna just get condominium apartment type living, which is fine if you're looking for that. But for the sake of today's video, being a single family home type video, that's why we're not really talking about the actual like middle of downtown Kansas City. We're talking about more um, on the east and west side. That's kind of where you're gonna find your single family homes. All right, so now we're on the west side. Okay, so we were just in Columbus Park, which is on the east side of downtown. Now we're over on the west side of downtown. Um, so where is the west side? Basically, it starts right here behind me on about 16th Street where the South Loop is and the FBI building. So FBI headquarters is right there. So that's kind of where it starts on the north side. And then it goes all the way down to Southwest Trafficway. And then there's the Southwest side that kind of keeps going from there uh, to popular places like the Roastery, Boulevard Brewery and things like that. But we're just gonna kind of feature more of like this north uh, west side area is kind of where we're going to be kind of talking about. So what's cool about this area there is um, you have like a mixture again of older homes, newer homes being built. Um, you have a lot of different people that are doing a lot of different stuff. So it's a, and it's again, it's a mixture of community. Uh, you have people that have been here forever, um, predominantly kind of like a Hispanic type area. And then you have newer people that are coming in um, because of the location, obviously. But, you know, a home over here that is like updated um, around that 2,500 square foot range, it's gonna be like $800,000 plus, depending on exactly where you're sitting on the west side. Um, and then from east to west on the north, on the west side, uh, it basically goes from Broadway on the east side and then it ends at a hill so we're kind of up on a hill over here so like elevation wise in columbus park you're a little bit further down um, and so you don't have as much of the views as you do over here on the west side so on the west side there's some amazing views of downtown kansas city um, that we're gonna i'm gonna show you in a little bit as we go kind of further toward broadway um, but it's just a different vibe over here there's some really cool little shops uh, the main like the main uh, intersection is right up here on 17th Street and Summit. You have West Side Local, you have a little Mexican market, you have Bluebird Bistro, which is uh, kind of a farm to table type store. And then you have West Side Story, which is kind of like a local KC shop. And then you have um, a crepe uh, restaurant and just a lot of really cool stuff like that. But like I said, it's a good uh, mixture of uh, newer construction, older homes and things like that, like right behind me here. Uh, this is actually uh, a new home. We actually looked at this builder when we were thinking about building our home over in Columbus Park, but that's a new construction home. But then you have over here some of these really historic type houses and things like that. An intersection, 17th and Summit in the west side. There's a cool uh, local KC store like I talk about all the time. Uh, if you're going to be a local in Kansas City, you got to dress like a tourist. Uh, it's kind of the thing. <laughs> so... Um, but yeah, and then there's a little crepe place called Chiselle right over here. So my wife and I used to um, be personal trainers down in the, in the West Bottoms. And so in between clients and classes and things like that, we'd come up here. We'd either go to Chiselle and get some crepes or we'd go over to Bluebird Bistro. And uh, they'd have like this biscuits and gravy with like local wild buffalo. Uh, everything was from scratch. Everything was local in season, farm to table, which is pretty cool. It's uh, interesting because you have homes that have been here forever. You have like big older mansion type homes, kind of like right behind me here. It's a huge historic home. And you have another huge historic home next to here. Um, my wife actually, she's an interior designer. She met with this couple about possibly doing some renovations on the home, but um, it's a it's multi-million dollar homes. So like when you get into the new construction, uh, multi-million and even some of these older homes kind of like what you're seeing right here it's just beautiful scenery and then the new construction stuff that's going on uh, around here but 
I'm gonna turn this corner and you're gonna get a good idea of why this is kind of the top place to be if you're thinking about moving to downtown Kansas City uh, because of the views, it's insane. Um, but you know, like for instance, behind me here is this freaking beautiful mansion type house. Uh, these massive multi-million dollar houses, but right here is the downtown skyline behind these houses here. So you have this brand new modern construction house, other modern construction houses down the way. Um, and then you have sort of these really old classic houses too. That's a mixture of different types of houses in the west side, but just behind these houses over here is the entire downtown skyline. I mean, you can see the Western Auto Building, uh, the Kaufman Performing Arts Theater is right over here. Um, just amazing uh, scenery. This is really, in my opinion, if I'm picking a place to be and I don't have to worry about money, uh, this is definitely where I want to be um, within, if I'm going to be downtown. It's amazing the, the type of homes down here. But again, like I said, I mean, you're getting into the millions when, on this side of the west side. Now there is some smaller homes on the west side. Like I said, it's, a, it's an eclectic mixture of a lot of things. And as you go further south, on the other side of Southwest Boulevard, uh, the houses are a little bit more of that bungalow style. Um, it's not as big and sought after as kind of this area because, like I said, I mean, you're getting the, the downtown skyline views over here. You're getting these beautiful, uh, amazing old homes. Plus, some people are building new construction as well. Um, so this is definitely like if you're looking at single family homes in Kansas City, downtown, close to everything, uh, this is kind of where you want to be because like right down the street here on the other side of this um, underpass is the Broadway, is Broadway and that kind of leads over to Main Street and the crossroads is just kind of a little bit further down from here. Um, just some of the coolest mixture of different houses. Now, you know, you might be thinking, I don't really want to have all the noise because you do have in some parts of the west side, you're going to have kind of the inner pass highway right there. Um, then other parts are going to be kind of further up and quiet. So it's just kind of depends the house uh, street to street, you know, and some of these houses um, still need updated, you know, like this house, for instance, right here hasn't really been tapped into and who knows what the story is on that one. But uh, yeah, I mean, that's what you're gonna get when you're downtown. Just a good mixture of houses in all different phases and stages. Tear down new construction, old houses renovated, old houses not renovated where people have been there forever. Uh, houses that have been uh, vacant and not occupied. Just a whole mixture of things down here on the west side. But uh, yeah, this is another big neighborhood of single family homes. And to be honest with you, outside of Columbus Park and the west side, when in terms of talking about downtown, north of 31st Street, there's really not a whole lot of other areas for single family home options. Um, and even in these neighborhoods, when a house hits the market, it doesn't last very long even though in this part of the downtown home prices are a little bit higher. But for instance, like here's a house under contract right here, uh, listed by Sarah Page with Page Homes KC, Keller Williams, right there. So, um, so yeah, you just have a lot of options, a lot of variety, a lot of cool stuff going on here in the west side. So we're rounding up our little tour of downtown single family home neighborhoods with uh, kind of on the southwest side of downtown, just north of 31st Street. Uh, this neighborhood's called Longfellow. And then you have Union Hill. And then the whole area is kind of also referenced as Hospital Hill, just because um, just north of me here, we've got the UMKC Med Center. We've got um, our medical university <laughs> college. Uh, then we have like a dental school. There's Truman Medical, Children's Mercy Hospital, which is a really popular hospital. Um, but this is kind of kind of your last option if you're looking for single family homes uh, and you want to be downtown. This is kind of your last 
hoorah to kind of check it out. So, but again, it's going to be similar in style and price points as a lot of the other neighborhoods. Um, your like smaller homes in this neighborhood uh, are going to start in the upper threes and then kind of the bigger, you know, really completely renovated houses are going to be like in that seven, eight hundred thousand dollar range and up. So there's even some modern new construction homes kind of in that range as well uh, that you're kind of looking at. But, you know, it's going to have, again, a very similar vibe, very similar than all the rest. Um, but really, when you're thinking about moving to Kansas City and you want to be downtown and you want to be in a single family home, you've really just looking at three areas predominantly, uh, either starting north uh, in Columbus Park or over on the west side or over here on the east side um, in this Hospital Hill area. That's gonna be your, your top selections for places uh, in downtown Kansas City. You are gonna have more busy roads in this neighborhood. Um, there are, you know, tucked away little roads here and there, but for the most part, you're gonna have a lot of busy roads. But like, even behind me, uh, around the corner, you can't really see it, but there's some really, um, you know, bigger new construction houses. And as far as, you know, businesses and walkability stuff, down here, you're, you know, you've got Ronald McDonald House, which is a huge charity. Uh, across the way here is the Family Justice Center. So if you're doing that kind of stuff. Um, and then you've got some really good little restaurants down here like Secatash, and you've got another one, a uh, Mexican restaurant called Tecali. And then you have another one, a uh, little fancier wine and dine type place called um, the Antler Room, but lots of different options down here uh, for housing. Like I said, the, if you look at the MLS map, there's actually a lot more available in this neighborhood versus the other two neighborhoods that we looked at and a good wide range of price points too where you're kind of looking in that upper 300,000 range all the way up to a million dollars depending on size of home, updates, age of home. Because you know, your huge new construction homes are gonna be obviously million dollar plus if you want to be like right in the downtown scene but you know love all the little local businesses walkability everyone's in downtown for those reasons for sure so if you're thinking about moving to kansas city uh, again i'm a licensed realtor here in missouri and kansas my team specializes in relocation and helping people from out of the country out of the state out of the city uh, move here to kansas city we navigate you through the whole process it's what we specialize in um, our contact information is below. You can call, reach, uh, call, text, email us, and we'll set up a Zoom call and get further into your goals and the strategy around you moving to Kansas City. Um, also, I'd love it if you could like, subscribe, and ring the bell. That way, anytime I'm dropping knowledge bombs, you're going to get notified.